You know, me, I'm a practical man. I don't theorize too much. We've seen what is happening. We appreciate our security agencies, they have done so much in trying to curb the menace of these bandits, kidnappers, uh, henchmen, jihadists, and terrorists, and all that. But they've not been able to stop completely the killings that are going on. And most times, when these people come, uh, they are armed and you're unarmed. And so, you are bound to uh, obey them. <laughs> and they take you as if you are a nobody. And so, it, 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 it has been a running battle. Uh, Chief Akim Kumi, who was kidnapped, uh, advocated for that. And I saw reasons with him. So, I'm in agreement. But, as a law-abiding governor, I would prefer that it shouldn't be an illegal arms acquisition by people. People should be allowed to own sophisticated arms like AK-47, just like those criminals have. And if government is able to license this route, they can own them in their houses. And when such people come, they should confront them. Because it is impossible to put policemen all over the place to promote people who are doing businesses, the government officials and all that. So there, there should be uh, a, a law uh, granting license to all responsible people. And of course, uh, currently uh, there is that policy granting licenses to uh, responsible people, but it is restricted. I know that I have, and I have license, and several other Nigerians, but it is restricted to double barrel gun and uh, then gun and so on. So double barrel gun and then gun will not be able to solve this problem when you are confronted with AK-47. So the best thing is to allow us own AK-47 so that we can confront them too. When we come and there are no security members, 